Coming at you from the year 2050, it's Planet Protecting with Potato. Hello, and welcome to the show. Today's Planet Positive News is wonderfully wild. Let's time twist back to present day, where our Planet Protecting correspondent, Yogi, asks the question, how can we connect to some of the awesome animals on our planet? Thanks, Potato. Yogi here in present day exploring some of the ways we can not only connect, but also protect animals today so they can thrive in the future. To kick things off, here's one way animals in the wild are being protected. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, yeah, I will not be responding to this old joke. <laughs> Cause I couldn't find the wildlife bridge, like this one. Whoa, that's the greenest bridge I've ever seen. They're built to blend into the surrounding nature so animals can cross busy roads. They can reduce wildlife accidents by more than 80%, creating a safer space for both the drivers and the animals, especially the ones who can't fly. Nice. The first ones were invented in France, but now many more have been built all around the world. There's even wildlife tunnels that do the same thing, letting the animals cross under the road. Engage burrowing tool. Wait, do I have a burrowing tool? It's a win-win invention. Yep. I love wildlife bridges. Oh, yeah. This gives me an idea. You know what would be even better than a wildlife bridge? A wildlife zip line! <laughs> oh. oh, I'm zipping a bed. Although we might not be able to build something as awesome as a wildlife overpass, we can all help take care of animals by cleaning up plastic in the environment or maybe volunteering at an animal sanctuary. Protecting animals today helps maintain the balance of nature so future generations can experience their furry, funny, awesome beauty. Mighty fine. What are some of your favorite animals? Let's talk about animals! My favorite animal is a dog. My favorite animal is a rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit who lives <laughs> in our backyard. It just looks so cute. I like animals, I think they're pretty cool. My favorite thing about nature is probably like encountering wildlife. I've always loved animals. I've gone whale watching a lot. My mom loves birds. I'm not gonna lie, birds are pretty fly. It's definitely important for us to protect the animals. We can learn from animals because they only take as much as they need. Planet Earth is our home. Let's take care of it. Animals, big or small, are so fascinating. One of nature's most amazing creatures are birds. Each type of bird has such a unique personality. And here's one thing you can make to help see them up close. Ella has a scoop. Check it out. It's time for Potato's Planet Protecting Playbook. Let's make a bird feeder. Thanks, Yobdi. And you're right. Birds are fascinating. Didn't you know that there's about 18,000 species of birds across the globe? I wanted to figure out a way to see a few of the birds in my backyard up close. So I found a way to make a bird feeder using recycled materials. You'll need a butter knife, some peanut butter, string, a toilet paper roll, some bird seed, and a tray. First, spread a layer of peanut butter on the toilet paper roll. You can also use soy butter instead of peanut butter. Next, spread the bird seed out on the tray. Then, roll the paper tube in the bird seed to cover it. You can always sprinkle more if you need to fill in empty spots. Next, take your string, thread it through the tube, and tie it. And here's what it looks like. Let's go hang it. I'm hanging mine on my balcony. You can hang yours outside a window. Or if you have a backyard, you can hang it on a tree. I can't wait to see birds like sparrows and finches up close as they fly in for a little bird seed snack. Back to you, Yobdi. So, to answer the question, how can we as planet protectors connect and protect animals? I think it starts off with being curious and getting to know more about their personalities. One fun project, pick an animal a week and research, discover more about its nature, traits, and quirks. Like, did you know that elephants communicate from miles away with silence? Shh, sending a message. The more you connect to animals, the more you want to protect them. And that's a wonderfully wild idea. Back to you, Potato. Thanks, Yobdi, and thanks to all you planet protectors out there. Together, we make the future. Until next time, stay planet positive.